Hi, I am Dr. Venkatesh Nitti, vascular and endovascular surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. I specialized in uh, all, all type of vascular and endovascular procedure. We take case of all the vascular problem. Vascular problem basically deals with the arterial and venous disorders. We handle all sorts of emergency cases like uh, accident trauma which are the and uh, bleeding disorders. In trauma, most of the patients come with the emergency rupture of the blood vessels due to the fracture segment, so we do the vascular repair. In vascular surgery, we do nowadays specialize in endovascular procedures where there is a multiple options are available without doing any open surgery. Like especially the most common problem is in arterial occlusion or occlusion, we do endovascular via angioplasties and stenting for the all the blood vessels in the body in the body. The venous disorders nowadays we are taking, doing a specialized pro procedures like endovenous laser ablations where there is no incision is made only through the percutaneous puncture which is a do it as a outpatient patient, outpatient care. This, this process is done under local anesthesia, is painless and you can go back in the evening and resume the activities the next day only. Hello, I am Dr. Ranjan Shetty, Head of the Department of Cardiology in Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. I am here to speak about cardiac emergencies. When people hear about emergency, they always think of heart attack and heart disease. Yes, it is very common to have a heart attack uh, as a cardiac, as an emergency. Most people when they have symptoms of heart attack, which includes chest pain, radiating to hand with some sweating, uh, poorly localized pain, feeling of heaviness, they should consult the nearby hospital and get one ECG done. And if ECG shows any signs of heart attack, they should, uh, the uh, treatment should be started immediately. We at uh, Manipal Hospital provide 24-7 uh, services uh, for uh, uh, heart disease. We have a cath lab which is fully equipped and it functions 24-7. As soon as patient reach our emergency, we activate uh, a heart attack code and patient could reach angioplasty suit in uh, 5 to 10 minutes and they could be treated, their blocks could be removed uh, very fast. What is important when we treat heart attack is, uh, is time. Time is muzzle, that is a very famous saying and it is important to treat heart attack as soon as possible. Uh, the earlier we treat, more muzzle we save and more life uh, we save. So it's important, time is of essence, it is important not to neglect any of your symptom. Even if you suspect it to be a heart attack, it is important to go and see the nearest possible doctor and get one ECG done and based on the ECG, a plan for the treatment. I'm Dr. Mabel and I work in the emergency department. I head the emergency department in Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Emergency, what exactly is an emergency department? An emergency department is a place where patients come when they are faced with a sudden medical or surgical emergencies. Example, someone's having chest pain, someone's having a heart attack, someone's having a stroke, an accident, sudden loss of consciousness. The place one would head to would be an emergency department because when you are faced with a sudden illness, there is no time to go to an OPD or to meet a specialist in the OPD. So what does this entail? Hence, an emergency department has to be run by emergency physicians, qualified emergency physicians who are able to handle any kind of emergency that comes to the department. And that is what Manipal Hospital is proud of. In our emergency department, we have qualified emergency physicians who are there round the clock. So if a patient comes with any kind of emergency, be it a severe headache or an unconsciousness or a very severe accident, there are emergency physicians in the department who can handle it. We have a 22 bedded emergency ER in um, Manipal hospitals. Each of the 22 beds are fully equipped to handle any life-threatening emergency. Like all our beds have multi-channel monitors, and uh, life-saving equipment like crash carts. We can secure airways for patients. We can intubate patients. We have ventilators in the emergency department which very few ERs um, around would have. We also have a dedicated radiology unit in the emergency department itself. This is so that patients who come with an accident or with breathlessness or 
life threatening emergencies do not have to go down to the radiology department to do the x rays. The x rays are done in the ER itself and patients are managed. So, be it any kind of emergency, Manipal Hospital ER, we at Manipal Hospital ER are able to handle it and um, help save a life at any time of the day or night. Thank you. Hello, I am Dr. Paritosh Pandey. I am the consultant neurosurgeon and neurointervention at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. We deal with a variety of neurological emergencies including trauma and stroke which are the commonest in the population. Today I will tell about something about stroke. Stroke is uh, one of the commonest emergencies in the neurological system. Stroke happens when there is a blood vessel which is blocked by some kind of clot. Uh, there, can, there are two types of stroke. One is ischemic stroke where there is a blockage of a blood vessel and the second is the hemorrhagic stroke where there is bleeding inside the brain. The symptoms of stroke can be easily remembered as fast which is face drooping, arm weakness, speech problems and T denotes time which basically means you have to rush to the hospital. There are two types of treatment of stroke. One is by intravenous TPA, other is by mechanical thrombectomy. Mechanical thrombectomy is the newest technique which, uh, by which through a stent we can take out the clot thereby improving the neurological uh, outcomes. I'm Dr. Nyanan. I head the pediatric emergency room at Manipal Hospital. So um, I'm really happy and proud to say that um, our emergency room um, was the first of its kind to be established, which is an exclusive pediatric emergency room. And it was started in uh, 2006 September, so it's almost 12 years right now. And uh, we offer a um, patient and family centered uh, model of care, wherein the environment and the staff are child friendly and uh, the parents are allowed to be with the child even in. Uh, times of an emergency. Uh, we are manned 24-7 by doctors, pediatricians who are trained in taking care of sick children. The nurses are also adequately qualified to take care of sick children. Um, and uh, we deal with all kinds of uh, medical and surgical emergencies. To name a few, uh, we deal with children coming with seizures, those with breathing difficulty, with uh, animal bites and stings, those who come with infection which we call a sepsis that results in low blood pressure, um, in dengue season, we deal with a lot of children coming in with dengue. Um, children involved in accidents and trauma, we have a, a, you know, a specific team which comes in and take care of these children. Um, and these are just a few, uh, apart from dealing with life-threatening medical and surgical emergencies. And uh, we also function as an urgent care center, which means that when the consultants in the outpatient department are not available after hours, they come to the pediatric emergency room and we take care of them. Uh, we also offer um, a pain-free, which is we call it an ouchless emergency room, where children coming in with any kind of pain, they first assess to figure out why the pain is happening, and then we give them a pain scale chart, and the pain is managed very appropriately. We do a lot of um, sedations, wherein we uh, do some small, small procedures in the emergency room, and then the child is observed and sent back home the same day. Now, like I said, uh, because of our uh, patient and family-centered model of care, and round the clock manning by pediatricians who are actually trained to take care of sick children with the nursing team. Obviously, Manipal uh, Pediatric Emergency Room is the best place you can uh, come to for any kind of health related illness in your child. Mm -hmm.